Hello everyone, and welcome to this Ascendex tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to buy and how to deposit to Ascendex, also known as Bitmax. I will show you how to do via deposit and how to deposit your crypto into the Ascendex exchange. All the timestamps will be down in the description. If you want to deposit via it into the Ascendex exchange, make sure to go over to their website and log in. Then go over to via payment and click on the bank card payment. Here you will have to choose the fiat currency that you want to deposit. So in my case, that will be Euro. On the right side, you can select the token you want to buy with your fiat. If you know which cryptocurrency you want to buy, you can go ahead and select your currency right here. But if you're not sure, I recommend you buy USDT. Since the price of USDT is equal to the price of the normal USDT. Once you have selected the fiat currency and the token, the next thing you will need to do is to select the service provider. In this case, I'll go with Bankse, or however you pronounce it. The next thing you will need to do is to fill in the amount of fiat you want to deposit. So in my case, it will be the amount of euros I want to deposit. So I'll go ahead and type in 100. You will also see the estimate purchase. So that's the estimate amount of coins you will get for your purchase. Once you have filled in everything you need to fill in, click on continue. You'll then see this disclaimer. Please read the disclaimer and then click on I have read and agree to the disclaimer. Now click on confirm. You'll then be sent over to the page of Banksay. Over on this page you'll see the amount of fiat you'll be paying and the amount of cryptocurrency you'll be receiving. Then all that's left to do is to select the transfer type. So in my case I'll go ahead and click on ideal. Once you have selected the transfer type click on create order. You'll then have to fill in your contact details. Once you have filled in your contact details, make sure to click on the checkbox and then click on confirm. Now you will need to fill in your personal details. Now that you know how to buy cryptocurrencies using Fiat, I will show you how to deposit cryptocurrencies into the Ascent X exchange. To do this, you need to have at least one other wallet that's not located on this exchange. So for me, that will be Binance. But you can do this with any other exchange. So go over to Ascent X, then go over to Wallet and click on your cash account. Here you will see the deposit button, the withdrawal button and the transfer button. We're going with deposit. Over on this page, you need to select your token. So in my case, I'll go ahead with Algorand. You'll now have to select the deposit address. Make sure that the network you're using is compatible with the coin you want to deposit. If you don't know if your network is compatible, I recommend you do a quick Google search. Once you have selected the right network, you can go ahead and copy your deposit address. Now you need to go over to the exchange you want to use to deposit money into the X exchange. Just like last time, I will go ahead with Binance, but you can do this on any other exchange. What you need to do now is to go over to Wallet and then click on Fight and Spot. And if you're using another exchange, you need to search for a withdrawal button. Over on the Fight and Spot page, go over to the withdrawal button and click on it. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Here, the first thing you need to do is to select the coin you want to withdraw out of Binance into Xandex. Since I have selected Algorand as the deposit coin, I will also need to select Algorand as the withdrawal coin. You will now have to fill in withdrawal 2. The first thing you need to fill in here is the address. We just copied this one, so go ahead and paste your address in. You will now see that the network has been automatically selected. You will also see that the wallet address automatically matched to the corresponding network. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you want to withdraw. So I'll go with 50. Once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, click on withdraw. You'll then get this pop-up. Make sure to double check all the information and then click on continue. Now all that's left to do is to go through the security verification. The last thing you will need to do is to click on the submit button. The last thing you will have to do is to click on the submit button. You'll then see that your withdrawal request has been submitted and that the receiver will get 50 algorand minus the fee, in this case 0.01 algo. The estimated time you will have to wait on your transfer to come through depends on which coin you transferred. A few minutes have passed and as you can see, the transfer we just did has now shown up in my deposit history. And when I go back to Binance and refresh this page, you will also see that the transfer has been completed. 
Now that you've got your money, whether it's fiat or crypto, I will show you how to buy cryptocurrencies on this exchange. To do this, the first thing you'll need to do is to go over to market. Here, you'll need to search for the coin or fiat currency you just deposited into this exchange. So in my case, this will be Algorand, and then I'll select the Algo slash USDT pair. Now, I'm going to sell my Algorand into USDT, so I'll do this with a market order. I will then select all of my holdings and click on the sell Algo button. As you can see, my Algorand has now been sold into USDT. And right now, I've got 40 USDT available. I'll now go back over to markets and search for the coin I would like to buy. So I'll go ahead and buy OMI. If the coin you want to buy isn't available in USDT but only for Bitcoin, you could buy Bitcoin with USDT and then go over to the coin you want to buy and select the BTC pair. You'll then be able to buy the coin using BTC. But since you can buy OMI with USDT, I'll go ahead and buy OMI using the market order. So I'll go ahead and select 100% of my holdings and then click on buy OMI. As you can see right now, I've only got 3.8 USDT left in my wallet. And when I go back over to my order history, you will also see that I just sold my algo into USDT. And after I sold my Algorand into USDT, I bought my OMI using USDT. If you want to place a buy order but you don't know how to place a limit buy order, a stop limit order or a stop market order, check out this video in which I explain that.